Between Spain and Algeria lies Europe's gateway to exotic adventures, a country that exudes culture and history. Where the Medinas create a maze of narrow alleyways and the sand dunes paint an endless picture of crimson and gold. Where you can feast on tahine before relaxing with a steaming cup of mint tea, often accompanied by delicate sweets. Where are we heading to this time? the ever-enchanting North African Kingdom of Morocco. With a single journey, you could find yourself surfing across the mighty North Atlantic swells in Essaouira, living amongst the nomadic Berbers of the Atlas Mountains, or navigating your way through the souks of Marrakesh. Our journey begins in Marrakesh, in a city often mistaken as the capital of Morocco. While that title actually belongs to Rabat, most travelers and locals would agree that Marrakesh is where the heart of Morocco lies. This vibrant city is the perfect place to head off on your North African adventure. Start in Gemma Lafna, the city's main square and marketplace where performers and merchants, tourists and locals blend together in one incredible sensory experience. Throughout the day, the market is full of stalls selling everything from leather goods and fragrant spices. And as the sun begins to set, claim a spot at one of the nearby rooftop lounges where, for a small cover charge, you can unwind with a drink in your hand as the sun sets over Marrakesh. Before heading towards the coast, pay a visit to the city's souk, which borders the main square. This traditional North African market is a popular shopping spot for locals and tourists alike. Here, you'll find everything from delicately crafted lamps, carpets and handbags, to delectable treats, a perfect way to bid Marrakesh Ma'a Salama. Now let's go west towards the coast where the charming resort city of Essaouira is a short but scenic three-hour drive away. This colorful port city is the laid-back alternative to Marrakesh and spending a couple of days here will allow you to fully bask in its old world charm. The city itself is a favorite amongst travelers thanks to its unique aesthetic, which extends to every corner of Essa Oweira's fortified, sand-colored borders. Like Marrakesh, this part of Morocco is a cultural melting pot, mostly because of its location. The city lies at the crossroads between different tribes and ethnic groups, with a modest European influence hanging in the air. This extraordinary and unique fusion of cultures in these parts is one of the many beautiful things about Morocco. If you're feeling indecisive about how to spend your day, consider joining a tour where you can explore the winding streets of the old Medina and Jewish Malah alongside a local expert. Discover the freshest mint leaves, finest leatherware and handcrafted ceramics you've ever seen. And before you leave, don't forget to shop at the spice-laden stalls and see the work of local artists in the city's many art galleries. The Medina in Essa Oueira is surprisingly easy to navigate, but if you feel yourself getting lost, simply look skyward and follow the seagulls to reach the harbour, where you can enjoy a hearty plate of freshly caught fish that has been grilled to perfection over a bed of charcoal. But if the hunger pains have yet to strike, you can simply watch the local fishermen at work in the nearby port, or stop for a moment to enjoy the picturesque views over the harbour. Pair these experiences with the infectious live music and traditional dancers who fill Essa Oweira's many public spaces, and you'll find yourself planning your return before you've even left. But of course, no trip to Morocco would be complete without exploring the majestic Atlas Mountains. 
About a day's drive from Esso Wira, you'll find the scenic Middle Atlas Mountains and the peaceful town of Midelt. Spend your afternoon watching the nomadic shepherds tend to their flocks and head over to the village of Bremen where you can see the local farmers in action. End your first day in the Atlas Mountains by gathering around the local musicians and enjoying the sounds of their traditional songs under the star-filled night sky. The next day, head towards Todga Gorge, a series of impressive limestone river canyons in the eastern part of the High Atlas Mountains. And once you finally arrive in the Valley of the Gorge, be sure to dedicate at least one full day to explore the breathtaking natural scenery. The best way to experience the area is by taking a guided hike through the gorge. Choose from one of the several circuits that vary in length and difficulty. And don't worry, most trails are ready for hiking no matter your fitness level or ability, just as long as you take the necessary precautions. If you take the most popular trail, you'll be greeted by high walls of grey and pink rock towering over you. An incredible sight to behold. This particular trail will also have you passing by Berber villages and green palmares along the way. Your visit to a Berber village will give you the chance to learn a little about ancient mountain culture. The Berbers themselves are an indigenous people that hail from all over North Africa, not just Morocco who are renowned as much for their hospitality as they are for their stunning craftsmanship. We promise this is one experience you will never forget. And after a couple of days exploring the villages and valley in this majestic gorge, it will be time to visit yet another of Morocco's unique and marvelous sites. The Ksar of Ait Benadou. On the edge of the high Atlas Mountains lies this traditional mud-brick city, which served as the former caravan route between the Sahara and Marrakesh. Known as Morocco's desert hotspot, Ait Benadou is an iconic highlight in North Africa and has even been featured in several films and television series throughout the decades, including everything from Oedipus Rex to Game of Thrones. A perfect example of southern Moroccan architecture, the city used to serve as a critical stop along the caravan route between Sudan and Marrakesh, where traders and their camels could refuel. In its heyday, Ait Benadou was teeming with life thanks to the traders transporting gold, silver and salt that passed through the city in large numbers. In those days, there was everything from sparkling palaces to large, lively community squares. Nowadays, the city has a much different vibe and its importance as a trade route is all but a distant memory. From a distance, it's not hard to imagine a bustling city full of traders and craftsmen, but upon closer inspection, you'll feel more like Indiana Jones on an expedition through a lost city. Despite the passage of time, Ait Benadou has managed to maintain its authenticity and you won't be disappointed by its network of earthen buildings, defensive walls and guard towers. During your visit, you can meet with the few locals who have chosen to remain residents of this otherwise abandoned fortification. And if you're just looking to unwind, you can simply sit back and watch as the shadows descend on the alleyways around you, taking this peaceful moment to reflect on your time in this remarkable country. Marrakesh. Essa Awira. The Atlas Mountains and the nearby city of Ait Benadou are but four highlights of a country filled with cultural and natural wonders. 
join a multi-day group tour to experience the very best that Morocco has to offer and discover the unforgettable magic of the countless other must-visit sounds and sights awaiting you in cities like Fez, Rabat and Casablanca. If your quest for exploration is yet to be fulfilled, Head over to Tour Radar to book your next adventure so you can experience this astonishing destination for yourself. If you're seeking further inspiration, stick around to watch more. Just don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay worldly.